Well, joining us this morning is Marty Calder from Center Counseling Services, and he, he's here for parenting tips. He's going to tell us how first-time parents can calm their nerves as they make the transition to being a mom and dad. Well, I guess with me and Lisa, we're going to welcome our baby girl into the world here in October. Wow, okay. I guess the biggest question, how do you prepare for something so big, such a life change? Yeah. I mean, one of the ones that I really, you know, we'll, and we'll give them a little endorsement is the what to expect when you're expecting books. Okay. They have ones to, to birth and they have ones, you know, toddler age. And they're really good um, practical tips for, for okay. parents. I think the biggest thing that parents need to remember is the how it is hard, you right. know, and, and there's no sort of sure, sugarcoating it saying, well, it'll be fine, you'll love your baby, and you do but it's a lot harder than, than people think it is. I've heard of some tips of like weaning yourself, I guess, off of, off of married life, if you want to call it that. Mm -hmm. You know, not going out as much, kind of tapering back your social life, if you yeah. will. Is, is, there, is there any truth to that? Is that a good strategy or is that kind of? Well, I, th I think you need to be aware of the time commitment that it does okay. take, you know, for both, for both uh, um, moms and dads. Um, you know, we live in a, a much more progressive society than 50 years ago and right. a lot more expected of the fathers uh, in those roles. And so, yeah, I think having uh, awareness of what that takes and an idea of what you do now and how it could impact your child. So, yeah, if you're a night owl, typically, that may not be bad right. uh, when, be when, the thing. Kids, when the kid's up and you're like, yeah, I'm okay with that. You know, I have a good friend that just had a baby and, and he was the one that took care of him at, uh, at night, so that wasn't too bad. But at the same time, if you're doing, um, you know, a lot of going out and that kind of stuff and don't really like get up in the morning, and that's when the baby's getting up, you know, you're going to have to adjust your schedule. As far as like the actual mechanics, I guess, of parenting, of, you know, the feeding, the, you know, all, all the dirty mm -hmm. work, I guess, that goes along with being a parent, is there a way to kind of prepare for that part of it? You know, we've talked, we've kind of did in the tease a little bit about babysitting, and there's always, you know, ways to do that if you have, um, you know, friends or relatives that, that have babies, and yeah, you can say, hey, I'll, hey, I'll try to change the diaper, or do things like that. Um, you can practice, you know, get a doll okay. out there and get the, get the stuff. One of the uh, cooler things that I had as a, as a father was actually my children were all born by cesarean section. Okay. And so when my wife was in recovery, then I was able to go with the baby and, and do that first diaper change and kind of hold him and okay. her and uh, her. <laughs> Better mention all three kids. But, all right, there you uh, go. So that was kind of a nice way for me to transition that my wife didn't really appreciate, you know, the, <laughs> right. the recovery, but it was kind of a, a nice situation there. So, yeah, I get where you're not uh, so nervous if you're, you know, if you haven't been around kids at all. Not like you haven't seen it before, I guess. Right. Well, and, and if you haven't been, you know, maybe you're the youngest child or whatever and you haven't had a lot of nieces and nephews. Yeah, kind of try to expose yourself a little bit more that way to children. Okay, kind of transi transitioning now into what we were talking about with babysitting. Mm -hmm. How can you, I mean, there's parents, you know, the soon-to-be grandparents, right. you know, they may be out of practice in yeah. the babysitting or the, the, the care of a child. Yeah. How can they kind of get into the groove again? I think one of the biggest um, keys that way is that um, uh, you need to know what the parents expect, you know, as if, especially if you're doing something long-term. Okay. You know, if you're, if you're babysitting a um, six-month-old, you know, for a couple hours, you know, you get the basics of what right. you need to do. But um, if it's a toddler or older uh, child, um, what the parents expect. Um, one of the jokes that one of my friends said is he was going to go on a, on a trip and on one parent was going to, is a junk food mania and the other one's like um, w uh, twigs and berries. Okay. And so, you know, just where he was like, I'm not sure how the kids are going to do with yeah, all right. that. Um, and so what the parents expect and then um, what you can do, you know, what they've done for, for discipline, say if they're uh, parents that believe in time out or the kids should do this or this is the bedtime, you know, try to stick to that schedule as much as Keep it as, possible. as close to home. Yeah, so that the kid is comfortable. And then be yourself. I mean, uh, use your personality, the things that, that you do well and that um, kids respond to, and that will always go well for you. All right. Well, thanks for stopping by this morning.